I'm going to show you how to start tuning from scratch if you were going to start and set your very first note with a tuning fork. The temperature of it makes a difference in the pitch, okay? So the colder it is, it's going to it's going to give off a tone that's a little bit more sharp. Warmer the metal becomes, it's going to be relatively flat. And it can be tuned. You can carve out this notch, grind it out with a sander or small Dremel tool to basically make these tines longer and that will make the fork flatter. Or you could grind the very tips off just a little bit and that would make it more sharp. So you can tune your tuning fork by grinding, but you have to set it to a point where in your average temperature that you're gonna run into, it's gonna be where you want. Now right now, I can feel on my cheek, my fork is a little cold. So I know it's gonna be a little bit sharp. Let's see where the tuning fork reads. It's a little cold, remember. The lights are spinning slightly to the right. I'm gonna adjust the amount of sense. They're still going to the right just a little bit. It's 0.8 cents sharp. Now I'm gonna rub this on my knee, create some friction and warm up the metal. I can feel now it's warmer than my skin. Now it's reading flat. So we're just about there, right at zero. So I know that when I rub this and it feels warmer than my skin slightly, it's not hot at all to the touch, but just warmer, now it reads at zero. Now this fork is tuned to 440 hertz. Where we are in the US, most of the time 440 is the standard. There's very few circumstances where it's gonna be critical that that A be right on at 440 or whatever the standard is. Now, most people's ear is forgiving about two cents one way or another, but I find that we're more forgiving if it's sharp rather than flat. Now, is that pretend? That might be pretend or particular to me. We tend to be a little more sensitive if something's flat. So I like to tune to keep a piano between 440 and 442 hertz. There's about four cents to each hertz change. Remember, cents are the unit that we measure half steps in, 100 cents per half step. So you figure if you're tuning at 441, it's gonna be four cents sharp. Now this fork, you know, when it's really cold, is maybe a cent and a half, a cent sharp, okay? Now I'm gonna set the filter to that frequency, 440, and I'm gonna use this F way down here, F2. Beating against this A to create a beat pattern right at 440 hertz. But before I even do that, usually I'll get out my fork, slap it on my knee, and I'll just listen to it and compare the piano. So to my ear, the piano's a little bit sharp, okay? Now I'm gonna confirm that. I'm gonna listen to this beat. Now I'm gonna set up a beat pattern with the tuning fork vibrating against this F2. But I'll tell you the truth, I don't actually do it this way. My bones are very resonant. I don't know if you knew that. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I slap it, stick it in my teeth. And I can hear a pulse very clearly in my head. Let's see how, maybe if I touch the, the camera here, maybe it'll simulate that. Anyway, I like to do this. I can hear it. And you don't want to listen to a beat at this pitch. You want to listen to the beat at this pitch, okay? And you compare the beat speeds and you simply match them, all right? It's going And this one is It's a little bit faster, so I'm going to tune I'm going to tune it a little flatter. I 
think I'm still a little sharp still. Now I'm playing the octave not to get it to sound good. It's to track how far I'm changing the pitch. So it's actually gonna sound worse as I go down with this A4 because I already tuned it at a higher pitch. Okay, I think I'm pretty close, let me hear. Okay, let me try and put this on the camera. This, I think I'm pretty darn close, okay? So let's see what the machine says. And I promise I wasn't cheating and looking at this even though it was on there. Um, now I'm off a lot when I do this, honestly. Not way off, but it's hard to do this step. And it's not as critical in my mind. So don't sweat it too much. I mean, you could always just get some app on your phone and start, you know, tune it to A4. I don't think there's any. I'm not, I'm not religious about tuning by ear necessarily. I'm, I'm all about using any tools and skills that produce the best results. Let's see where the A is on the tuner. So it's about 0.5 cents sharp. And knowing my fork's tendency to be sharp, that doesn't bother me at all. And knowing that I'm within one cent, to me, that's, that's good enough. So that's how it's done. We just use F2. Against A4. That's how you do it. That's how you set A. I mean, in principle, it's very sim simple. Just match the beat speeds between that and, when, and the fork and the F. And there you go.